screw. So screw is also a simple machine which appears like a nail. Means in a screw, it appears like a nail, but it is having a spiraling groove made on a curved surface. In this curved surface, spiraling grooves are there. Might be this you are watching. Here these grooves are there. Okay. And whenever on a nail grooves are there, that is known as or spiraling spiraling grooves are there, that is known as screw. Okay. So a screw consists of a threaded steel. Actually, in this screw, threaded steel is there. One end of the rod is made narrow. One end of the rod of this screw is made narrow and pointed. And this ed edges and this end is narrow and pointed is called tip of the screw. This is known as tip of the screw. The end of the screw which is made narrow and pointed that is known as tip of the screw. And the other end which is made flat that end is known as head of the screw. Head and tip is clear to you. The broad area of the screw is known as head and the narrow and pointed area of the screw is known as tip. Next we are having when a screw makes one complete rotation, it advances a distance equal to space between two consecutive threads. Means whenever the screw is going to complete one rotation, means whenever we are going to push the screw into a wall, Whenever we are applying force from here, we are applying force from here, okay, in a rotational form, we are applying the force. So, whenever this screw is going to complete its one rotation, one rotation means what? That one rotation is equal to the distance between these two threads. Actually, these are the threads. Whenever this screw is going to complete its one rotation, whenever we are applying force from the outside, that one rotation, that one complete rotation is exactly equal to the distance between or the space between the two consecutive thread. And this distance between the two consecutive thread is known as pitch of a screw. This is known as pitch of a screw. Next we are having common uses of screw arrangement. So screw arrangements are used to fit the doors in a door frame. Whenever you want to fit the door into a door frame, you are using these kind of screw. Might be you have seen this. Whenever hole is there, we are going to put the screw into it. And from the outside, we are applying the force. Whenever we are applying the force, it is going to move inside, inside. And finally, it will look like this. Okay. So, screw arrangement is used to fit the doors in a door frame. Next, we are having common uses of screw arrangement. A cork screw is used to pull out the cork from a sealed bottle. Actually, this is a form of cork screw. This corkscrew is used to take the cork out from a sealed bottle. Means when you want to take the cork out from the seal, uh, sealed bottle, by applying our force by our hand, it is not possible to take it out. So we are using this kind of screw corkscrew. So the, with this corkscrew, we can easily pull out the cork from the sealed bottle. And a bit of an electrical drilling machine is a screw. Here also in this case, in a drilling machine also, we are using a screw. And it is used to make the hole in a hard surface. By using a drill, in a drill, screw arrangement is there. Whenever we are applying force from the outside, it is going to move inside and inside on, into the wall or into the hard surface. So it will make a hole into a hard surface. Next, we are having nut and bolt. Nut and bolt is also a pair of uh, is also an example of pair of screw in which nut is just rotate over the threaded bolt. This is a bolt, this is a bolt, full fledged, this is a bolt and this is a nut. Whenever you want to move the nut inside the bolt, then also we are applying the force and that nut is going to rotate over the threaded bolt. Okay. Then we are having a screw jack. So screw jack, this one which is used to lift up the heavy materials or heavy cars, vehicles. Okay, this screw jack is also a nut and bolt arrangement. In the screw jack also we are having nut and bolt arrangement in which nut is attached on the like threaded bolt. Fine. 